Well, I'm going to fight this. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. <laughs> uh, pleasure. Um, your movie Kindred. Tell us a little bit about your movie. Oh, it's so difficult to talk about the Kindred without giving so many spoilers away. But essentially, Helen, my character, wakes up from a coma, finds out that she delivered a child whilst she was in the coma, and then has to figure out what her father said to her the night that she ended up in the coma, which was also the night that he committed suicide. How do you prepare for a role like that? I just turned up on the day. Oh. <laughs> really? I did no work. I turned up and I just thought, what would I think about if this had happened to me? No. Um, you know, this film has been with us for a long time and uh, it was originally with a different um, production company in the States and so I've spent a long time lusting after this part and, and I think, you know, when it came back to us, I basically just bulldozed everyone into making it for me. Brilliant. I bet that was a really satisfying feeling. It's it's getting that way. Now that we're, you know, here at Fright Fest, we're with a Fright Fest crowd. It, I mean, that's like the absolute goal for a, a genre film like this. And yeah, it's starting to feel satisfying. Less satisfying in 2020 when we were sitting in a, in a again, sweaty booth doing post-production. Still though, apparently this is the first festival in the UK to come back after lockdown. I, I, I don't, I mean, I, of course, of course it is. So how does it feel to have your movie here? I, I mean, paving the way. <laughs> I am a pioneer. I'm a pioneer. I, what can I say? Um, it's an absolute luxury and a joy. And, you know, when we were sitting at home, twiddling our thumbs last year we thought well that's such a shame our hard work is never going to be seen with an audience and um, here we are now it's happened I mean it's happening in a minute in a and minute? I'm going to be sweating I might sneak in actually I'm, I'm going to just abandon them if you do can you tell me if you guess the twist okay are you good at guessing twists yeah I'm really good at guessing are you twists, interesting okay Ooh. I'd love to know I'd love to know if you guessed it Okay. Oh, there well, we go. obviously That's we've not seen, we've not, you know, we haven't seen the film with an audience. I know the twist, yeah. but I just don't know whether other people will know. There you go, everybody. Look out for it. I don't think you can miss it, to be honest, when it comes. But it's the guessing it that's the important thing. Right. There we go. Um, wow. Now I'm going to see it. I'm definitely going to see it. <laughs> She's sneaking in, everyone. I am sneaking, sneaking in. in. I'm just going to abandon the media wall and just sneak in. I would. Gosh. Again. You can you can take my interviews from now on. It's fine. Um, She's like, I <laughs> yeah, she does. I'm horrible. Um, so, right first, are you now being here, like after being here, experiencing this whole environment, this whole family and everything, are you going to aim to have another movie? Well, listen, I have been to Fright Fest once before. I came with a film called, at the time it was called Belly of the Bulldog. Right. It's now called Tank 432. Okay. And I remember that experience so vividly because the, the audience were just wild. They, were, they had costumes on, they were throwing things, they had masks on. And I just thought, this is, this is really cool. Honestly, apart from the movies, obviously, the fans are what I come back from. I, I can see why, I can see why. Being around kindred spirits, you know, just throw that in there. I, it's, it's really important, and I also think everyone's missed that. I think this is going to be a, a hot pot of horror fans, and that's exciting. Yes. And I haven't ever experienced an audience as kind and caring as these guys. Oh, thank God for that. You so, wait, in a minute, they'll come out and they'll be we'll like, see. we hated your film. We'll see. If you come out with a big smile on your face, I'll know why. Oh, thanks. It'll be because you've guessed the twist. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, thank you Damn so it. much for having a little chat with me. Oh, thank uh, you for having hopefully me. Hopefully I'll catch up with you later. Definitely. I want to know if you guessed it. I will. I'll let you know. Thank you. Thank you.